In this video, I'm going to create the combination of HTML and JavaScript program that we looked at in our last video, your first JavaScript program. I've already created the style sheet for this. You don't need to do this, it'll work fine without it. This is just centering my headers and setting the default font for the page. I will show you how to link to this page, but let's start by creating our new HTML page. I'm going to the folder that I'm working in, and for the class that I'm working on this for, this is the second section, our chapter two. And I'm going to right click here and create a new file. By doing that, it saves me a step because it shows it exactly which folder I want the file to appear in. I'm calling this practice.html because we're just going to do a very simple practice statement, so we're going to keep building on it. And then I'm going to hit finish. That'll give us a blank page, and my practice file appears directly in my Chapter 2 folder. The first thing we have to do is our doc type statement. And we from the doc type HTML, which is telling any browser that this is an HTML5 document. The next line that I need is the opening of my actual page, HTML, and I'm going to just specify that the language equals English. Since that is my opening HTML tag, it automatically puts a closing tag in for me. You'll notice that it tells me that I have an error in here, that I should miss, insert the missing title element. Well, I'll get to that in a minute, and you'll see it'll go away when I do. There are two primary sections to your HTML document. You have the head section, and that's where everything that happens before the page load loads goes. And then you have the body section, which is the actual contents of your HTML page. Most JavaScript takes place in the head section, or the head section will call an external Java file. The other thing that goes in your head section, though there are several that could, is your title, which it's giving me the little reminder that I need to have it. And right now, it doesn't like the empty spot in my title. And this is simply going to say, Mary's JavaScript Basics because I'm going to use it to demonstrate some very basic JavaScript commands that you need to know before we can create anything serious. Now my assumption on this is that you have done a little bit of programming or programming logic before. When you're getting into this, you should have very basic HTML skills, basically what I've put up here, that you know where the head of the document is, you know where the body of the document is. So we're going to go through a real fast review of that in the next chapter, um, just some of the basic stuff. And then the other thing that I assume that you know is your basic programming structures, what a loop is, what if statements are for decision making, but I'm going to explain as I go along. So if you've never programmed before, you'll probably be okay following this, but I do have another title I'm working on for Applied Logic, which is teaching the basics of programming using Visual Logic, which is a flow charting program that will actually run. So you can follow along with that tutorial if you've never programmed before. Okay, my next step is going to be to link to any external files that I have. So I'm going to link by saying link, and then I'm going to give the style sheet that tells it what kind of link it is, and the type, which is text, CSS, and then I'm going to give the actual location of it, which is basics CSS, which I like Optana helps me here because it can see, since I'm not giving it a folder name, it's the, whatever's in the same folder. If I had this in a subfolder, I'd have to have the folder name first. Then I have to close that tag, and that's now linked me to the style sheet basics CSS. The next thing that I'm going to put in is the declaration of my JavaScript. So I'm going to say I have a script, which is just a script. And I have to tell it what kind of script it is, because there's more than one type of script that you can put in a web page. And then I'm going to tell it that it's a text file, 
in JavaScript. And I'm going to close that tag. And again, notice it gives me a closing script and an error because I should have content in my JavaScript. I like to start my JavaScript files with a comment. If I want to do a comment on a single line, this is a single line comment, and comments are ignored when the page displays. They're only for human eyes. The machine just ignores anything after those double slashes. If I want a comment to stretch across multiple lines, I'd use a slash and a star. And I like that Optana will automatically close that for me so I can just type the comments as much as I want. This is a demonstration of some very simple JavaScript concepts. This is a multi-line comment. I often use multi-line comments when I want to turn off part of my code if I'm trying to find an error in it. I'll demonstrate how to do that in a later video. Now let's actually put in my first JavaScript command. This is going to be an alert, which will pop up a box with a button that you can cancel. And it's going to say, I am your first JavaScript program. Unless you want to go old school, in which case you can make it say, hello world. That's it. That's your first program. Let's test it. Before you test anything in Optana, you have to save it and it will work and it does nothing after that because I only have the JavaScript done. Let's go and put in a little bit of HTML. Now my HTML, I'm going to just get rid of the empty lines here just to keep this script neat. The HTML portion would go in the body of the page and I'm only going to put in one line here. It's going to be an H1, header 1, and it's just going to say Mary's JavaScript basics. Now, I want you to notice when I test this, and again, save first, and when it saves, it automatically launches here. I am your first JavaScript program. Okay, no problem. Let's go look at the page, though. Preview, practice page. Let's actually hit the test here. I am your first JavaScript program. This loads. There's nothing back here. And then the Mary's JavaScript Basics appears after I click the button. And that's important to know in the order that anything in the head, your alert, will run before anything in the body. So go ahead and try that. We're going to keep building in this file for the next step.